Hello once again, and we're going to have a game, why is it making that noise, I don't know, of revs for the Commodore 64. So we're going to go straight into competition, and we're going to be a novice driver, and five minutes is the duration, because I can't be fucking bothered. So we're going to type in our name. This is something I don't get, so I always put 2020. Well, I say I always put, I've only had a, had a few tests of this game, and it is fucking difficult to play. So what we got to do, pull back on the joystick, then pull forward on the joystick, then away we go, put it in the gear, it is fucking difficult to explain, and it is fucking difficult to play this game. And I'm only quite sort of qualifying, I've got five minutes to qualify, um, so I don't even know what fucking track I'm on, it doesn't tell you what track you're on, so I can't get a rough idea of what, we drop, what sort of track we've got coming up against. So obviously that that setting with the wings, as I fucking can't even drive it oh, at a crawl and I can't even fucking turn the stupid thing and then you stall the car. So then you've got to put it in the neutral, pull back, then pull forwards and try it and fucking spin the thing around to make it go the right way and yes, and I crash in good measure. Then you've got to do all that fucking shit all over and pull back, then you pull forward and put the fucking thing into gear when you get the hot revs eye. Here we go. Jesus Christ, it is a very difficult game. And this game was done by Jeff Crammon that went on to do the um, Stunt Car Racer, which was an absolutely fucking good game, that was. For all, all the systems up, oh fucking as I come off the track again. All the systems that I played it on, originally was the Amstrad, I played it on the Commodore 64, then had it for the Amiga. All those versions were fantastic. Excellent version, right? Here we go. Trying, I'm talking the way I'm trying to drive. I fucking frustrate, I keep fucking stalling the car. So, get it out of gear, put it in neutral, and ah, oh, bloody hell. Now, why did I've stalled the car again? So, put it in a neutral, pull back, pull forwards, put it in a gear. It's worse than fucking learning to drive for the first time. <laughs> this is what it is. Learning to drive all over again for the first time, you keep fucking stalling the car. Um, it is immensely difficult. And this is a Formula 3 game, by the way. It's not Formula 1, it's Formula 3. Um, yeah, Jeff Crammond. Then he went on, of course, to do the Formula 1 Grand Prix for the Amiga, the ST, and the PC. And that was a fucking awesome game on the Amiga. That was absolutely brilliant. So Jeff Crammon, he knows how to make his racing games good, but this is too, you know, too fucking difficult. And this is on Novice, so I hate to imagine what fucking the hardest level is going to be like. Um, I haven't even had a chance, oh fucking, ah, I wonder what, what's going on? Oh, fucking had it in reverse. <laughs> and try to start start the car in reverse. Oh fucking hell! Oh, God. it is bloody difficult. <laughs> I would recommend having a go at this. If you if you like a challenge, then have a go at this. So how many gears have we got in this car? Well, I don't know. Cause the fucking corner's coming up and and hit the sign. Oh, I've lost it, lost it, lost it. I wish it could have a self assist. Um, straightening up, it doesn't straighten up. You have to fucking manually straighten the car up yourself if you can. It doesn't straighten up on its own, and I fucking gave it too much whirly and now I've lost the back end of it. So the physics are pretty much spot on, but I think it's too real. <laughs> I mean, the closest I've ever come to realism in a computer game, driving wise, was hard driving in the arcade basically because it had a clutch um, but this fucking hell this is immensely difficult you definitely need practice at this game so you go off wandering off too too far you end up crashing so now we've got to go through this turn backwards forwards put it in the gear bloody hell could you imagine if it was Formula 1 how difficult that would be 
<laughs> Actually, I played a lot of Formula One games and they were easier in this. Even Formula One Grand Prix on the Amiga was easier in this. <laughs> but mind you, you did have options, a lot of options in that game. So if you wanted um, options like to have automatic or manual, everything, you know, made to for the novice to the professional. So that was good. I wish they could have incorporated it on this game. Now I fucking got it in reverse. That's what not fucking clever, reversing down the straight. So here we go, put it in the gear. Come on, get in the gear, you bastard. Here we go. Had the revs too low, here we go. Right, here we go. So you go up the gears. Come on, change, here we go. It's being a little bit unresponsive. Fucking hell. Ah, what's happened? Please wait. So I wasn't really paying attention what's going on, but obviously I haven't. I even I don't even think I made a fucking lap in this yet. So that is just terrible, terrible. Um, another racing game I thought was really difficult was um, Ferrari Formula One. Now that had the same sort of concept, but you couldn't stall the engine. But it was that was just weird. I honestly thought that was that was really difficult. I, I really didn't really like that game that much. But this is really difficult and it is a Formula 3 game. <laughs> so I don't know what all this is about now. 2020. Okay, so we're about the race. Alright, so we're going to have a little bit. I ain't going to complete five fucking laps in this. It's just going to be... No, I, I don't want to make the review going on too long. You know how oh, fucking badly... Ah, oh, fuck, now I've stalled the engine. Shit. Now, oh, come on, get it out. Ah, oh, Christ. Oh, the fucking race is starting. I've stalled the fucking thing. I can't. Ah, oh, come on, get it. What's going on? Here we go. Fucking hell, that is just typical, isn't it? About the race is about to start, and I've fucking stalled the fucking thing. Um. Yeah, I could say the graphics look pretty decent. Um, I honestly don't know when this came out. Might have been early 80s or mid 80s. It's so unfortunate that uh, you don't see the front wheels actually turn, but I suppose you can't have everything for a game that early. I mean, for a, if it is an early game, because I, I don't remember this. I honestly don't remember this. Um, I never had it back in the day, and I only knew of it because I saw someone put it up. I thought it's a racing game. So if it's a racing game, I'll have a go at it because I enjoy racing games. It is my favourite genre. I oh, fucking bumped that right up, and I, I crashed it. Fucking hell! So I'm behind Max Frotten, whoever that fucking can is. <laughs> um, right, so get it into gear, get it going. Bloody hell! <laughs> it is very, very difficult, especially if you ain't ever sort of played it before in your life I stalled the fucking thing oh god get the fucking thing started again so here we go what we need is what we need to do is race at something like the Indianapolis 500 so I won't um, have a chance to fucking stall it it'll just be flat out all the way I'll have to negotiate corners or nothing like that and fucking stall the engine Ah oh dear. Oh, 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 oh it's going to turn. Oh, 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 I got away with that. Oh, still, cool, still turning. So you got to remember to change down your gears so you don't stall the bloody thing. But it is, it is difficult. It's a bloody difficult game. Definitely have to master this. Um, so keep it. Yeah, turning. Ah, oh, fucking lost it. I fucking lost it. Ah, I can't be bothered anymore. It is a fucking difficult game. Anyway, I'm going to end this review now. Thank you for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.